Ever pondered how life would unfold on Jupiter? It's a question that might seem far-fetched, even absurd, but it's one that sparks curiosity and opens doors to a world of possibilities. Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, is an enigma, a gas giant that challenges our understanding of life as we know it. Let's delve into the heart of Jupiter. It's not like Earth with its solid ground and breathable air. No, Jupiter is a swirling mass of gases and storms, its surface an endless expanse of clouds. Imagine it, a world without land, a planet where you can't just set up a picnic blanket and gaze at the stars. But what's beneath the clouds? Well, that's where things get tricky. Jupiter's core, if it even exists, is shrouded in mystery. Some scientists theorize it's made of rock and metal, others suggest it might be a dense sea of hydrogen and helium. The truth, however, remains hidden beneath miles and miles of gaseous layers. The atmosphere of Jupiter is another challenge. It's composed predominantly of hydrogen and helium, the same elements that make up the sun. The air is thin, the pressure is immense, and the weather, well, it's nothing short of extreme. Towering storms, hurricane-like winds, and the famous Great Red Spot, a storm larger than Earth that's been raging for centuries. Now you might be thinking, how could life as we know it survive in such a hostile environment? And you're right, it's a daunting proposition. But here's the thing. It's the as we know it part that might need some rethinking. Life on Earth has proven to be incredibly adaptive, thriving in the most inhospitable of environments. So could life, or at least some form of it, exist on Jupiter? It's a question that continues to captivate scientists and space enthusiasts alike. The challenges are immense, the conditions are alien, but the allure of the unknown, the promise of discovery, is too great to ignore. Imagine for a moment the possibilities and the challenges of living in a world so different from our own. First, let's tackle the elephant in the room, Jupiter's atmosphere. Now you might be thinking, how bad can it be? Well, let's dive right in and see. Jupiter's atmosphere is like nothing we have on Earth. It's a swirling, turbulent soup of hydrogen and helium, with a smattering of methane, ammonia, water vapor, and trace amounts of other compounds. That's right, folks, not a whiff of oxygen in sight. So straight off the bat, we're dealing with an environment where we can't simply step outside and take a deep breath. But that's not all. Jupiter's atmosphere is notorious for its violent storms, the most famous of which is the Great Red Spot. This storm alone is twice the size of Earth and has been raging for at least 300 years. Imagine trying to build a home in the middle of that. And then there's the radiation. Jupiter's magnetic field traps high energy particles, creating intense radiation belts. These belts are so potent that even a brief exposure could be lethal to a human. If that doesn't give you pause, I don't know what will. But wait, there's more. Jupiter's atmospheric pressure is also immense. It's so high, in fact, that it would crush any object that isn't built to withstand it. So, any potential human habitats would need to be incredibly robust to survive. Despite these formidable challenges, we're not quite ready to throw in the towel just yet. After all, human beings are known for their resilience and resourcefulness. We've overcome obstacles before, and who's to say we can't do it again? So, it seems we are facing an uphill battle but what if we could overcome these challenges? Let's keep our imaginative gears turning and explore what could be possible if we dared to dream big and reach for the stars, or in this case, the gas giant. What if we could adapt to Jupiter's harsh environment? A thought-provoking question that takes us into the realm of the seemingly impossible, where the lines between science and science fiction blur. Imagine for a moment a world where the human body is no longer solely a product of natural evolution, but also of our own technological and genetic advancements. A world where we could modify our physiology to withstand the extreme conditions of Jupiter. We could start with our lungs, engineering them to extract oxygen from Jupiter's atmosphere, abundant with hydrogen and helium, but scant in oxygen. Our current lungs would be woefully inadequate, but what if they could be enhanced? genetically modified to extract the sparse oxygen molecules or even to process the abundant hydrogen for energy? Then there's the matter of gravity. Jupiter's gravity is two and a half times stronger than Earth's. Our bones and muscles would need to be exponentially stronger to bear the weight. 
Genetic engineering again could come to our rescue, enabling us to create denser bones and more powerful muscles. Yet, it's not just about physical adaptations. We also need to consider the psychological implications of living on a gas giant. The constant storms, the perpetual cloud cover, blocking out sunlight and the isolation, these could all take a toll on our mental health. We might need to engineer psychological resilience into our genetic makeup or employ advanced technology to simulate Earth-like conditions and maintain our mental well-being. But let's not forget, adaptation is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. And as we continue to advance technologically and genetically, we might just find ourselves capable of more than we can currently imagine. We're not there yet, of course. These are all just possibilities, glimpses into a future that might be. But it's a future that's worth exploring because it pushes the boundaries of what we think is possible. The power of adaptation might just be our ticket to a new home. Could technology be our key to surviving on Jupiter? As we ponder on this, let's not forget that technology has long been our lifeline, our bridge to the impossible, our ticket to the stars. Imagine for a moment a habitat on Jupiter. It's not as outlandish as it may sound thanks to the promise of technology. We've already seen technology perform miracles here on Earth, from creating artificial atmospheres to developing radiation shields. So the question isn't whether technology can help us conquer Jupiter's hostile environment, but how. First, let's tackle the air, or the lack thereof. Jupiter's atmosphere, composed mainly of hydrogen and helium, is not exactly conducive to human life. But what if we could engineer our own breathable air? With advancements in terraforming technology, we could potentially manipulate the Jovian atmosphere to create a breathable environment. A tall order, yes, but not beyond the realms of possibility. Next, we have the issue of Jupiter's intense radiation. This radiation is far beyond what any human or indeed any earthly life form could endure. But again, technology offers a solution. We're already developing materials and shields capable of withstanding extreme radiation levels used in our probes and rovers exploring other parts of our solar system. Applying this technology to human habitats on Jupiter could be our shield against the planet's deadly radiation. The promise of technology extends beyond mere survival, though. It could also enable us to thrive on Jupiter. Imagine, for instance, the potential of harnessing Jupiter's powerful storms for energy or mining its dense atmosphere for precious resources. The possibilities are as vast as the planet itself. Of course, all of this is speculative. We're still a long way from setting foot on Jupiter. But the promise of technology gives us hope. It's a beacon guiding us towards a future where the impossible becomes possible, where we can not only survive but thrive on worlds beyond our own. With the right technology, we might just be able to conquer Jupiter's hostile environment. But what if we didn't have to live on Jupiter itself? What about its moons? Jupiter, our solar system's largest planet, boasts an impressive entourage of at least 79 moons. While we focused on the gas giant itself, these moons might actually hold more potential for human habitation. Among these celestial bodies, two stand out as the most promising, Europa and Ganymede. Europa, the sixth closest moon of Jupiter, is smaller than our own moon, yet it has captured the attention of scientists worldwide. Beneath its icy surface, it's believed to harbor a vast salty ocean, twice the volume of all Earth's water combined. This ocean is kept warm by the tidal forces of Jupiter's immense gravity, which could provide the heat necessary for life to exist. Then there's Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, even bigger than the planet Mercury. It's the only moon known to have its own magnetic field, hinting at a molten core. This moon also has a thin atmosphere and is believed to have an internal ocean. But why are these moons so fascinating? Well, they could potentially solve many of the problems associated with living on Jupiter. They're solid, unlike the gaseous Jupiter, and they're not as gravitationally intense. Plus, their potential for water means we could have a ready supply of life's most essential ingredient. Of course, these moons aren't without their challenges. The icy surfaces would require advanced technology to navigate and inhabit. And then there's the issue of Jupiter's intense radiation. Any human settlement would need substantial shielding to protect its inhabitants. Despite these obstacles, the potential of Jupiter's moons is tantalizing. They offer a vision of space colonization that doesn't just involve surviving, 
but possibly thriving. So while Jupiter may seem like a harsh, inhospitable giant, its moons tell a different story. They whisper of possibilities of new homes across the vast expanse of space. Perhaps our future lies not on Jupiter, but on one of its many moons. The journey to Jupiter is no small feat. Indeed, the magnitude of such a voyage is as vast as the cosmos itself. A venture to Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, is an undertaking that requires not just courage, but also an exceptional level of technological prowess and a profound understanding of the laws that govern our universe. The first obstacle to overcome is, of course, the sheer distance. Jupiter orbits the Sun at an average distance of about 500 million miles. To put this into perspective, that's more than five times the distance between Earth and the Sun. Even traveling at the speed of light, it would take approximately 43 minutes to reach Jupiter from Earth. But we must remember our current technology doesn't allow us to travel anywhere near the speed of light. The fastest spacecraft ever launched, NASA's Juno mission, took nearly five years to reach Jupiter. In human terms, that's a significant chunk of an individual's lifetime spent in the harsh, unforgiving environment of deep space. And speaking of harsh environments, the journey to Jupiter is fraught with numerous dangers. The intense radiation belt surrounding the planet can fry electronics and pose serious health risks to any potential astronauts. Then there are the ever-present risks of micrometeoroid impacts and the potential for catastrophic system failures far from home. Yet despite these daunting challenges, the desire to explore Jupiter and its enigmatic moons remains undiminished. The allure of the unknown, the drive to push the boundaries of human knowledge and experience, and the potential rewards of such a mission, be it scientific discovery, resource acquisition, or the sheer human accomplishment, are all powerful motivators. In the end, the journey to Jupiter is emblematic of humanity's ceaseless quest for exploration and understanding. It's a testament to our drive to venture beyond our terrestrial boundaries and reach for the stars. It's a long and perilous journey, but the rewards could be immense. So, could Jupiter be our future home? This question has hovered in our minds as we've journeyed through the potential and the challenges of making the largest planet in our solar system, our new home. In our exploration, we've delved into the unique and daunting atmosphere of Jupiter. We've grappled with the understanding that its dense and stormy atmosphere marked by violent winds and the infamous Great Red Spot, a storm larger than our own planet Earth, presents an environment far from hospitable. But we've also pondered on our own capacity for adaptation. We've looked at how humanity has time and again proven its resilience and ability to adapt to new environments. From the icy landscapes of the Arctic to the arid deserts of the Sahara, we have made seemingly inhospitable corners of our planet home. Could we then, with time and the right technology, adapt to live on a planet like Jupiter? This brings us to the promise of technology. We've speculated on the potential for technological advancements that could help us survive and thrive on Jupiter. We've imagined protective suits and habitats that could shield us from Jupiter's harsh conditions. We've contemplated the possibility of terraforming, of transforming Jupiter's environment to make it more Earth-like. We've also ventured into the mystery of Jupiter's moons. With over 60 moons, Jupiter presents us with a multitude of options. Could one of these moons, perhaps Ganymede, the largest moon in our solar system, or Europa, with its suspected subsurface ocean, be our future home? And finally, we've embarked on the journey to Jupiter. We've considered the distance, the time, and the resources required to reach this giant planet. We've explored the potential for space travel and colonization, Reflecting on our history of exploration and our innate desire to push boundaries and explore new frontiers, but this is more than just about finding a new home. It's about the future of humanity. It's about our survival, our evolution, and our potential to become a multi-planetary species. It's about the human spirit, our curiosity, and our relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's about our place in the universe and our understanding of life itself. In pondering life on Jupiter, we are forced to confront our own limitations and to imagine new possibilities. We are pushed to innovate, to grow, and to dream. We are reminded of our fragility and our strength, of our insignificance and our importance. 
So could Jupiter be our future home? The answer to that is still unknown. The challenges are immense, but so are the possibilities. Our exploration of life on Jupiter is a testament to our curiosity, our resilience, and our ambition. It's a journey of discovery, of learning, and of growth. While the challenges are great, the possibility of life on Jupiter, or one of its moons, offers a tantalizing glimpse into the future of humanity.